Hello, I've had a comment on the channel uh, on my review of the Alesis V Mini keyboard, this keyboard right here. I found it to be really good, but the keys are a little bit spongy. Someone had commented, Ad Advith Asok, I hope I've got your name right. Hey, were you able to disable the velocity sensitivity of this keyboard? I wasn't able to change it from the software. Now, I haven't been able to find out how to change the sensitivity within a software or, or a modulation. However, I am a Reason user. Now, I'm not sure where I found this solution. I think it was on a forum. I don't think it's in the comments section, um, but I'll just run you through quickly how it is to stop these spongy key issues going on with your Alesis V Mini. So I've tested this out on the Radical Piano, so we'll chuck in a Radical Piano. Also, the the solution, the um, incredible solution to the spongy keys and the velocity problem that uh, a couple of people have commented about is if you go to Utilities and you bring in the RPG-8 monophonic arpeggiator, bring that in, when you press the keys, Obviously it's arpeggiating, so, but it hasn't got rid of the problem. And it's, I mean, it's, you've really got to hammer those keys for it to work. If you come over to this bit here, uh, this controls the velocity. So if I just select that and bring it off from uh, sensitivity, now, full, full key velocity, pressing it as softly as you want. So you can just press the keys Full velocity, awesome. However, it's arpeggiating. All you need to do is turn the arpeggiator off. And now, f full blast, absolutely full blast. And you can also control the velocity. So if that's too loud, if you're using a different instrument, for instance, and that's too loud, that's too much of an effect, you can bring it down, bring the velocity down. No matter how hard you're pressing the keys or how softly you're pressing the keys, it will always be at that velocity. So this arpeggiator solution, which I'm afraid, if I remembered where I'd got the solution from, I would be giving you full credit, but I can't remember, I'm afraid. I think, I'm sure it was a forum. So now I can just play it, no problems. Just pressing it softly, so I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Same thing goes for any other instruments. Um, if you've got like say the Europa, you can just do it the same again. Utilities, chuck it in, turn off that. Make sure that you've turned on to, to what velocity you want. So that's the other thing to, to bear in mind with this is especially with synthesis, is that sometimes the synthesis and the piano, all sorts of different um, instruments within Reason actually are very, the sound differs for how hard you're pressing it. So this solution might be good if you're just getting a rhythm or some sort of like lead, and then you might want to go in afterwards and change it. But that's a really good solution to the velocity problem with this keyboard specifically. But I'm sure if other people have managed to find this video, it will, it will work with any MIDI keyboard on Reason. It goes back to whatever reason, the last reason was with that um, arpeggiator, because that arpeggiator velocity problem sorted. So. Hope this video has been helpful to somebody out there. Cheers for listening.